In this video, we will uncover the spirituality that a big part of Avatar The Last Airbender was based on. Stay and watch until the end so you could know not just where the idea of the Avatar came from, but the real-life cultures that shaped the series. And also, about a very important person certain characters were based on. I'm the Avatar. Take me to whoever's in charge. Avatar The Last Airbender is well-loved by many fans, not only because of its characters and storyline, but also because of the extensive research that was done to create the world. All of the bending groups in the series were based on real groups of people, and for this video, we'll be focusing on the Air Nomads and the spirituality behind the Airbenders. Upon a first look, one could easily guess that the Air Nomads were based on real-life monks. But not just any group of monks, specifically Tibetan monks. And we could see this in the way that they would dress, in the colors in the cut of the clothing, and also the designs of the Air Temples themselves. But not just that. The idea of the Avatar being reincarnated into many different lives actually comes from the Tibetan belief that the Dalai Lama becomes reincarnated into a new life every time. In fact, it is the responsibility of the High Lamas, or the spiritual leaders in Tibet, to find the next incarnation of the Dalai Lama every time the previous one dies. Kinda reminds you of the White Lotus, doesn't it? We have investigated many claims. There's a scene in Avatar The Last Airbender wherein the monks explain to Aang that when he was a kid, he chose toys that belonged to the previous avatars. This is based on real life, because when the current Dalai Lama was a kid, he chose objects that belonged to his previous incarnation, which was one way the High Lamas knew that he was the one. My favorite toys when I was little. You chose them from among thousands of toys, Aang. The toys you picked were the four Avatar relics. These items belong to Avatar's past your own past lives. The makers of Avatar were very aware of Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Not only because of the fact that the Air Nomads also followed a strict vegetarian diet and practiced meditation as part of their daily activities, but also because they incorporated important names into the storyline. In the legend of Korra, Korra's airbending teacher is named Tenzin, who actually happens to be Aang's youngest son. In the period before the Avatar series, Aang's airbending teacher was named Monk Gyatso, who was already dead before the beginning of Season 1. However, has any one of you checked the name of the current Dalai Lama, aka the current Avatar? That's right, in this current incarnation, the Dalai Lama's name is Tenzin Gyatso. That's all for now, more videos coming up on the spirituality behind Avatar The Last Airbender. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more.